Let's talk about speaker cable. <laughs> uh, before I get started, uh, please like and subscribe. It makes all the difference. And the reason I'm laughing is because the speaker cable debate is a contentious one. There are people who spend more money on cables than I would spend on a vehicle, okay? So there's gonna be some pushback. There are some people that think you can just run regular zip cord, the smallest gauge possible, and that'll work. And honestly, that's true. You can run the cheapest 24 gauge cable and you'll get sound. Is it gonna be as good as running 10 gauge Kimber cable or something like that? Maybe not, but can you tell the difference? And that's the key. So I actually went with a 14 gauge cable. Now, normally I run 12 gauge, but having to run everything around in these raceways, I wanted something more flexible. So I ended up getting a twisted pair of 14 gauge cable. Um, why did I use twisted pair cable? Primarily because twisted pair is the only thing that I've seen other than truly balanced cables, which well, you need certain AVRs and stuff like that to run those. The twisted pair, they use that in networking to avoid crosstalk. In computer networking, the Cat5 cables, if you look inside the cable, they're all twisted pair. And the reason being is it avoids crosstalk, cleans up the signal. And have I noticed that in, in going from a regular parallel cable to a twisted pair cable? Oh my gosh, the difference was so, so minute. If you're going to spend your money on something, it's best to spend it elsewhere. But if you've got everything straightened out, you've got your theater the way you want it, and you want to upgrade the cables a little bit, my only recommendation would be going twisted pair. If you've got something really long, go with a larger gauge cable. If you search maximum length for a given cable, it'll tell you how far a cable can go before you really start losing things. Same with HDMI, same with subwoofer cable. There's general rules of thumb, and as long as you follow those, you're gonna be okay. Don't get so wrapped up in the speaker cable debate. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna. People will straight up yell at you in all caps in the comments, you don't know what you're talking about, on both sides. <laughs> Frankly, I don't care. I went from a 12 gauge cable in the motorhome theater to a 14 gauge cable in the home theater. Can I tell the difference? Absolutely not. <laughs> They're both twisted pair. I'll always use twisted pair when it comes to speaker cable, but I'm not getting anything with batteries on it or anything that's some sort of special technology. I'm just gonna use twisted pair cable at an appropriate gauge for the distances I'm running and the reason I went with the lower gauge was simply for its flexibility. If I had run a 12 gauge cable, that part right there wouldn't have been possible. I would have to run two cable raceways to make that work. You know, it, it was a matter of picking the right thing for the right situation. Look, if you've got a $20,000, $50,000, $200,000 system and you wanna add $30,000 cables, cool, go for it. But for most people, Put the money in the subwoofers, put the money in the speakers, get an AVR that has good room correction. Those are the things that make a difference. And, and obviously subwoofers make the biggest impact when it comes to spending money on your home theater. It can go both ways. You can spend oh, $20,000 on subs that don't sound as good as a pair of $1,000 subs. That's just the truth. And there are companies out there that sell really expensive subs and they, they don't go deep enough. So you spend all this money and you get weak subs. So that's why I have a list here. You can check it out. These are subs I would buy myself, subs I believe in and subs that I know to work, not just from anecdotal evidence or because I think I like them. I've measured them. I know what they do and I know why I like them and why I don't like other subs and, and this and that. So put your money there instead of speaker cables, okay? Cables are the last thing you should be spending money on in your home theater unless it comes to dealing with stuff like subwoofer hum or something like that. Then spend a little bit more for the right subwoofer cable to avoid any hum and things like that. But speaker cables, yeah, you can run 24 gauge zip cable, it will work. I wouldn't run full range in those and I wouldn't run full range anyway. I run every speaker as small. So yeah, you can get that and get away with it. Who cares? You'll have people say, oh, how come you're not using a thicker gauge? Well, because I don't want it. It's not a big deal. Don't freak out about it. Again, the only thing I think that's worthwhile is twisted pair. Other than that, good copper, obviously. I would just use common sense with it. But you don't have to spend on a mint on cables and you don't have to 
buy into all this stuff about how much cables matter. I guarantee you that if you've got a better pair of speakers, you're going to notice that way more than you're going to notice the cables. This video is made out of being amused at the whole speaker cable debate. Oh, this adds a warmer sense to your whatever. Get what you need, spend the money you want, but don't, don't take it too seriously. Nah, that's all I'm saying. So that's kind of a rant video. I really appreciate all the support. I'll put the affiliate link to the speaker cable I used down in the description below. I'll put some links to other cable that is good, including terminations and stuff like that. There are companies that will make custom length cables. There's all kinds of options for you. There are cables that you can get that just look cool. That's another thing. But in terms of, oh yeah, this made my system sound so much better. It might make a minute difference, but enough to, to pay for it. Probably not. Not unless you got so much money to burn, it doesn't matter. And even then, in some cases, it can make your stuff sound worse. So <laughs> just be careful and don't get too caught up in it. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.